What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay but before this video starts I just want to say this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Do you want an, an RPG, MMO, League of Legends type of game that will blow your socks off? Well don't buy this game and this is not sponsored. What is up my original bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. Now, today I want to talk to you all about is the changes that are coming to Modern Warfare. Now, we did just get a big update the other week, but it didn't have everything. So, for anyone who doesn't know, last Wednesday, these drops came to Twitch, and there's about three of them, calling cards and other stuff that you'll actually be looking at right now. So, everything that came last week to call of duty modern warfare were game updates uh monthly player playlists and warzone playlists and of course we had the double xp for the weekend that happened as well they are also bringing gunfight knives only demolition and gun game reloaded and of course we have a new operator ishkra i want to say her name is i'm not really sure i can't really pronounce it i don't know how to pronounce it but we can't actually get her yet. The bundle isn't out for her. Also, Hard Hat is coming probably this week as well. And a gunfight map, which is called Isle 9, which looks like a smaller Atlas Supersaur or just one of the Isles on Atlas Supersaur. And I hate Atlas Supersaur. They are also bringing a nerf to the Snake Shot Akimbo revolvers. These are legit aids of Call of Duty and the Warzone. Now these need to be nerfed so much and as you can see on the screen now this is what uh, Joe Seacott said about the latest update that is coming out. We are working on adjustment for snake shot akimbo or akimbo snake shots in a smaller update just needs testing. RPGs are also getting a tuning pass in the next big update to come later on. So basically what he's saying here is the nerf for snake shots are coming probably this week and the RPGs are going to be nerfed later on, maybe in a week or two. Now in Modern Warfare 2, there used to be these kind of mastery calling cards for weapons that you kind of mastered where you completed the challenges and got X amount of kills to get these. And I feel like you'll probably have to have like the Mastics or the and the obsidian camo just to get these now of course you might not you never really know but this is just a picture that i'm going to put in right here right now of the modern warfare 2 calling cards that you used to be able to get and they were unreal so the whole warzone community have been wanting duos for a long long time now and it's been said it's coming out and everyone thought the last update may have had it but sadly not however i do think this could be coming out in season four because we're basically already halfway through season 3 or near enough done it I think and you know I couldn't see them bring it out now because you need hype and to bring more hype and everything and make people happy about season 4 which they kind of did with season 3 as well so I could see it coming in season 4 early season 4 now the most wanted bounties these are just aids now lots of people have complained about the most wanted bounties and they'll be re-added back to warzone once they have fixed where both the normal bounties and the most wanted bounties work in the same game as of now they can't and i don't know how i feel about the most wanted bounties because i personally do not like them at all so vehicle skins came to the game recently and now there's been a bunch of leaks for it and seemingly the tanks are getting skins so this means that tanks could be added to warzone maybe which doesn't seem like a good idea because then you have people just getting into them and basically being unstoppable like in uh, ground war now fair enough to have them in ground war but to put them into warzone would be kind of dumb and i actually have a video on about uh, warzone coming this week so stay tuned for that Moving on, we'll talk about melee weapons and the Ronin bundle which brought a hatchet and there's actually three new melee weapons that were added and are coming. These are caustic which most people think it's going to be the ballistic knife and a cinder block which 
for anyone who hasn't played the Modern Warfare campaign, you can actually pick these up and beat someone over the head with them, which is just so fucking cool to me. And they're also adding like a sword, which meh, that doesn't seem, that doesn't seem like fun. Cinder block over the head, unreal. Finally, there are a load of playlists that are coming in Warzone. One shot, which is basically just one shot, one kill. Not luck, just skill. Fuck you, bitch. Stimulus. We actually don't know anything about stimulus as of now. Another one is bottom line, which again, we have no clue of. Infinite Gulag. This kind of seems like the blackout playlist, which you could play in PS4 or PS4 in Black Ops 4, where you play in a prison or on a prison like i think it was called alcatraz i'm not sure if it was or wasn't and you could respawn a certain amount of times as long as there was a player on your team still alive now there's also a most wanted which could be where you have the most wanted bounty on you it's like random it's like infected where it just picks a random team and everyone has to go and kill them something like that i'd say Run like hell, this seems like the circles actually move a lot faster than what they do originally. Non-stop seems just like uh, run like hell, but the circle probably is constantly closing in and there's probably just one circle that just closes in at one time, like just straight away the whole time, like kind of like a dome that just shrinks. There's also classic battle royale, which I feel like this could be something like PUBG where there's no respawn or redeployment more gulag more problems don't know what this playlist is but i can figure out that it's probably you have x amount of times you can go there's no redeployment i think so you can just keep dying and you go to the gulag for x amount of times but it could cost i don't know like 10 not 10 grand but like five grand to get them back if if redeployment is in it or seven and a half grand i don't really know i'm just picking those numbers out of my head and then we have pew pew realism and inflation deployment redeployment so pew pew could be anything most people are saying that it's shock or pistols but others are saying it's shotguns as well which i could see it being pistols i can't see it being shotguns because that'd be just really really weird realism is just like the modern warfare where it's just real life shit like and inf inflation redeployment sounds like where the circle comes in and every time it could cost more to bring back your teammate so the first one could just be your standard 4500 uh then the next one could be 5000 then on top of that it could be 6000 and then when it gets to an even smaller one and say like 20 teams it could be like eight to ten grand just to get your player back or something like that so these are things that would probably be coming in season three and others that will be probably coming in season four this is the end of the video guys i hope you did like it if you did please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever i upload to the channel or whenever i go live on this channel and if you want to know anything more about modern warfare updates and everything like that that are coming out this is where to stay tuned to. I also trying to going to be uploading some uh, clips from my Twitch channel. Link to that will be in the description below. Once you're there, you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live there. Uh, where I live stream Rainbow. Uh, I'm going to start live streaming some Rocket League soon. Maybe some Warzone and some other single player games like uncharted i've been doing and i'm really really loving the uncharted series i did not realize how good it really is and i'm on uncharted 3 but i'm actually going back and playing them again but i'm doing it on different difficulties so i started on easy and that shit is not easy let me tell you that easy is not easy in, in uncharted it is fucking hard i'm gonna do normal veteran and then hard and then veteran and i also will be trying to upload clips and everything to the channel like i said and a lot more and yeah as you guys hope you like favorite and subscribe and peace